Question number 13 is, I know I need a cylinder. I've already got a cylinder in my house. Can I keep it? It's a really, really good question. So we get asked this a lot. The thing is that the cylinder you have in your house, especially if it's one of the old style, the copper cylinders, which you're very familiar with, they will have the old red duvet wrapped around them. These are pretty much guaranteed to be incompatible with a heat pump. But if you have one of the more modern stainless steel cylinders, there's a chance we can reuse it. But we have to meet a certain criteria. And the problem is this. I'm going to try and heat your cylinder as quickly as possible with a heat pump, get that cylinder nice and warm in the middle of the night so I can get back on with heating your house again. And to do that, I need a very large coil inside the cylinder. So the coil is where the water from the heat pump goes through the water inside the cylinder and heats it up. And you can see from the graphic, when we have a heat pump cylinder, it actually has three coils in it. So we have much, much larger coil area to get the speed of recovery of the cylinder down. Um, as, as low as we can. So although we could physically connect a heat pump to your old cylinder, the problem is if we do, you get a very, very slow reaction time. And I've done a little graph here of two lines. The blue one is where I was using my heat pump to heat my old existing cylinder that had had a gas boiler connected to it first. And although it heats the cylinder up, and you can see after something like just over an hour, we get there up to temperature, this is very slow. I then repeated the process with a heat pump cylinder with a much larger coil in, and you can see that on the red line, the heat pump cylinder recovers much, much faster. So we can get in, get the cylinder warmed up as quickly as possible, and get back on with heating the house. So as a rule, when we're designing, we'd like to try and make sure that if you have a big bath and drain your cylinder, we can get that hot water back up to temperature again in something like an hour. And to do that usually means changing your cylinder. We do get asked a little bit from people saying, I have a solar thermal cylinder or some other technologies. Can I reuse them? And your engineer will design that in. Um, but quite often, if you have solar thermal, you can, of course, keep the solar thermal up on the roof. The, all we do is put a heat pump cylinder in, which also has a solar thermal coil in the bottom. So nice and simple for us to do.